Welcome back to CBS This Morning. There is some promising news in the race for a coronavirus vaccine. Two companies, Pfizer and its German partner, BioNTech, reported encouraging signs in very early clinical trials for a possible vaccine. A small study on 45 patients triggered stronger immune responses in recipients. More than 15 different possible vaccines are now being tested on people worldwide. Dr. David Agus joins us with the latest on this global effort. Good to see you, Dr. Avis. Listen, you've got the best doctors, the best researchers working on this. We are so craving good positive news. Do you have it this morning based on the results from those two companies? Yeah, it, you know, science is going to win. They will win against this virus. And mm -hmm. what they showed in this study is that when they administer the virus, they got a good immune response. You know, when I do a cancer trial, my goal is to shrink the cancer. When you give a vaccine, the goal is to get a good immune response. And they were able to see antibody levels that were almost twice that seen in people who had naturally got the virus. So that's very encouraging. They didn't talk about the T cell part of the virus. Remember, the T cells are also very important, but this is a big step forward. This is what they hoped for. But there are reports that some people in the trial did experience fevers and other symptoms. Is that normal? Well, you're going to give me a weird look, Gail, but yes, this is good. You know, if mm -hmm. I give a vaccine and a patient has a sore arm or has a fever, I'm cheering or I have tears in my eyes because I know it is working. And so that's part of the immune response. You know, what they do here in this case is they give RNA, the instructions for the spike protein of COVID-19, and then your body cells make it and you make an immune response against that and that protects you from the virus. So this is a new kind of vaccine very encouraging and exciting that we're moving forward. Encouraging and exciting is the words we like to hear. And I just heard you say science will win. And you know the question to that, David, is when, David, when will science win? <laughs> um, you know, the, the trials are ongoing. Oxford University is the lead in the trials now. Their phase three stud started already in Brazil and the two, three in the United Kingdom. And the results look encouraging. This is a vaccine that had been tried for a decade in SARS, so we know it's safe. And they just plopped in the portion for COVID-19. So my hope is we have the data over the next six weeks or so, and we will have a vaccine in the fall. I am very optimistic we're going to have a vaccine in the fall, and hopefully more than one candidate. Oh, boy. We could use good news about this story. Thank you very much, David Agus. Always good to see you in California.